Man, bro, are you okay? It's big brown. Can you eat my finger? Hello? I'm out of here. See you later, big pimp. Do you want to say goodbye too, bro? Come here, Oreo. Oreo! Yo, damn it! What's good, everybody? Man, I'm feeling great because it is Friday. Woo! And it's actually quite beautiful out here. For once, oh, I think it's gonna rain today. I'll see you, 7-Eleven. It's my Friday. Oh man, I'm hyped. I gotta go home and I gotta water, and then I'm gonna play some games and hopefully wake up at like a reasonable time and uh, have a nice day off, man. I am so dead. I feel like I'm 80 right now. No BS, guys. I feel like I'm about 80 years old. I lifted so many beers, so much water, so much everything. That was just a party. I literally spent Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Stocking the cooler, stocking the cooler, stocking the cooler. And every time I put another beer on the shelf, I say, that's another dollar closer to the goal. That's another dollar closer to the goal. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm using as my motivation. And it feels good when I complete a week like that. Like, I did something, man, you know? I didn't just hang around and just do nothing. I built something and I'm building the future. And uh, I see my progress, I see my gains. Now this next week, we're gonna work on the gym gains. Um, but for right now, I'm proud of my I'm proud of myself this week. I uploaded for now five days, six days straight. I figured out my budget, which I well, I'll, I'll actually probably share that with you guys tomorrow. And I got something to do a review for tomorrow's video because tomorrow I can actually go out and do things. I'm not just going to be stuck here at work and having a vlog for like two minutes at the end of the day. Right now it's 3:15 in the morning, and a couple guys came in, big old shirtless guys, right? And just tons of shirtless guys everywhere. And they go, hey man, what's up, bro? Open up the beer, homes. And I'm like, hey man, um, it's actually in the state of California. And hey, we close at two, it's three already. He's like, what the hell, eh? You better open up the beer, man. All my homies, we're getting pissed off, bro. We need some beers, bro. Just give me a beer, bro. And I'm like, it's not up to me, man. It's the state of California. Like, I can't sell you alcohol. And he's like, why not, bro? What's up? I'm like, well, the machine resets. And, and so what, bro? What's up, is it? I'm like, ah, just, I'm not gonna sell you beer, man. It is what it is. And uh, I just turned around, continued doing what I'm doing. And he got all pissed and he went to the, cause we have a wine aisle where the wine is. And he took like a bunch of high noons and he just walked out of the door and he's like. And it's like, you know, this is why I keep talking about California being a shithole state. Because nothing's gonna happen to this dude. There's no crime committed because you have to steal over $1,000 for something to be con considered a crime in California. It's crazy. You could steal $990 worth of something and you're fine. This guy could walk out with beers and it's like, oh, it's cool, man. Just steal whatever you want. And it's encouraged. You know, we encourage criminals here in California. And it's like, it's just so, like, I don't work for a big company. I work for one lady and she owns a 7-Eleven. It's not like I work for a big corporate store. Um, I work for one lady and this is her own business, you know, that she worked really hard to build. And it's sad, like sometimes I think about it like, man, just to see the crime that's just like steadily increasing. She tells me like, this is a big reason why prices go up and why I raise prices because theft has gone up so high. Like you have to kind of balance it, but you also don't want to put it too high, whatever. But it's just like, just stuff like that, man. Just stuff like that. But overall, I'm proud of myself this week. I'm proud of you guys this week. And uh, I just want to say thank you everybody for watching. I've been loving the daily vlog series like I talked about yesterday. It really has been getting me motivated. Tomorrow, I don't know if this is going to happen, but I want to try to go out and maybe hit a hiking trail, but it's probably too hot. That's not a good idea. But uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to try to get some drone shots because supposedly it's going to rain tomorrow. And like I said, I have a little review and stuff to do, but I'm out of here. I got to get home. The time is now 3.17 in the morning. And for anybody who wants to see the weather, 89 degrees Fahrenheit. So there it is, guys. I'm out of here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And we're going until October 1st. And 
I don't know. Oh, also, to be transparent, you know how I was looking for another job? Um, okay, if I'm posting long form videos every day, it pays like pretty decent, right? So right now I'm getting like $2.50 every single day. I started posting shorts again, so that should go to like $3.50 a day. And I'm like, okay, well if I can get that to like $10 a day from YouTube, that's my part-time job. And so I'm almost halfway there. So hopefully my goal is by the end of August to be making on average about four-ish dollars a day. And if I can get to four dollars a day, that's a great start, man. I'd be very happy with that. But just in the issue of transparency, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. My dream was always to make a living out of YouTube, but it gets further and further away from reality. And my life goal is that 100,000 subscriber plaque. Right now, I doubt it's ever gonna happen. Honestly, it's never gonna happen. It's just, it ta it's taken me, I've been on YouTube since 2012 on this channel. It's taken me, somebody do the math, 12 years to hit 20,000 subscribers, well, 19,000 subscribers. So maybe in like 100 years, I could hit 100,000 subscribers and I can finally get my, my subscriber plaque. I don't know, anyway, who cares? Peace! And buckle me. See you guys tomorrow.